data references are used to associate various items to attributes in your AF hierarchy. String Builder allows you to manipulate the names of elements, attributes, and attribute values by trimming, combining, and formatting various items to get the most out of AF. String Builder by itself may not be that interesting, but when combined with other data reference types, it unlocks a new level of power in AF. Let's first discuss some of the most common items and manipulations available in String Builder, and then go through a few examples. The first example we'll go through is trimming the serial number string to the right four characters for use in other AF data references. And the second is to start to learn how to rebuild tag names when imperfect tag naming conventions exist. Please see the advanced pl AF playlist for a complete discussion on methods for handling cases like this. So let's start by discussing available options in String Builder. When you open up the String Builder data reference dialog box and you create your first line, you'll start with five different options for shortcuts. The first are literals, and these are basically hard-coded information that you want. You'll place those in double quotes. The second are attribute values. Those are the values of attributes in the same element that you're working in now, and these are shortcuts to pull those in. The next is related attribute values, and it's possible to bring in attribute values from different elements within this AF database, from other AF databases on this server, or even from databases in other AF servers. Next are substitution parameters, and this helps bring in the names of elements and attributes, among other things. And the final is functions. By creating multiple string builder rows, where here we only have one row, you automatically concatenate them. But if you want to do more manipulations, there are other functions to allow you to trim a number of characters, change case, remove spaces, etc. Let's start with our first example, where we want to trim the serial number string to the right four characters to be used in other AF data references. If we go into our AF database, you can see here that we have a table lookup data reference, which brings in the serial number from a table based on our line number and inlet pump. But we want to trim it down to just include the right four characters, 8LGG. Since this is created from the pump template, let's go ahead to the library, and here's our pump template, and here's our serial number with our table lookup. It's good, based on convenience where you want to place this, I'm going to place it as a child attribute. And I'm going to say serial number right four characters. And let me go ahead and assign this as a string builder. And let me go to settings. Let me click on the star to add a new row. And since the attribute that contains the serial number is within the same element I'm working under, there'll be a shortcut under attribute values. And here it is, serial number. Now I want to take the right four characters. So let me go ahead and go back in here, go to functions, and say write string length. And it automatically adds it in here. Write the serial number as our input attribute, and then I want the right four characters. Let me go ahead and click OK. You can see over here, just to confirm, that it's the right syntax under the settings. You can always edit this directly here if you typed in the wrong number of characters or something like that. Let me go ahead and check it, go ahead and check it in. Go to elements, go to attributes. And let me open this up so we can see the child attribute. And sure enough, it created the right four characters. Now let's go through an example where we rebuild the tag name when imperfect tag naming conventions exist. In this case, we want to rebuild the tag name so it looks up the correct tag on our PyData archive. And we want to take the number of the line number that we're on and then rebuild it into a tag that says l1, l2, l3.inletpump.ot.pv for our oil temperature. And the way we're going to do this is by using String Builder to hard code in the letter L, then take the rightmost character off of the parent element, the line number, and then hard code the rest of this into our String Builder. So here I'm back in PySystem Explorer. Uh, I'm back in my plant with line one, and I have no pump under line one at this point. Let me go back to the library and I'm going to use a different pump. I'm going to use a pump template advanced. Here I have a PyPoint data reference set up uh, to pull in the oil temperature. And if you've watched the video on setting up PyPoint data references, this may be familiar where we're using a more advanced option where we pull in the data archive name from an element. And then we're going to reference a child attribute called tag name. So let me go ahead and create that child attribute called tag name. And this is where we're actually going to rebuild our tag name for the oil temperature. 
um, and then this PyPoint data reference here will pick that up. We're going to do that with String Builder, as I had mentioned earlier. So let's go to Data Reference and assign it as String Builder and go to Settings. So the first thing we wanted to do was hard code in the letter L. And then we wanted to pull the rightmost character out of the parent element. So let me go into Substitution Parameters, and we're going to pull in the parent element, which is this one here. And I want the rightmost character, and I'm going to do this by hand. I'm going to say right, comma, one, and close that out. And that's going to truncate line one down to just the number one. So at this point, we have L1. I'm going to add one more line, and I'm going to hard code in the rest of the tag name, which is going to be period inlet pump, period OT, period PV. And those combined should result in L and then the number of the line based on the parent name, dot inlet pump, dot OT, dot PV. And let me go ahead and click OK. Now, I actually haven't created an element yet from this template. So let me right click on line one, say new, new child element, and I'm going to use the pump template advanced. And it creates our oil temperature. And you can see here that this is the tag name that it's using. If I go ahead and open this up, here it is. It's actually rebuilt based on using some substitution parameters from the parent and then string builder to build the rest together. So this is just starting to give you a feel for what how you can rebuild tag names from various items in your uh, AF hierarchy and then reference that tag name in the PyPoint data reference. And again, please see the advanced AF playlist for more examples on how to handle imperfect tag naming conventions.